Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to work with PDF Make in React.js. Now, this is going to be a really simple tutorial. What's going to happen is that we're going to have this simple button right here. And if I click it, it's going to generate a URL for us. And when we go to the URL, it'll create a simple PDF with a header, a randomly generated number, with a little bit of basic styling. And if I click on the button again, it'll make a brand new one. Go to it, we'll see that the number is also changed and it's the exact same thing styling wise so let's go ahead and get started alrighty so I have a brand new react I've made right here and the first thing that we need to do is we need to install PDF make and the way to do that is to npm i PDF make and that's it and once it's done we're going to import all of the packages that we need so firstly we need to import PDF make so the PDF make from PDF make slash build slash pdf make and then after that we're going to do pdf fonts so we have all the fonts available to us so we'll do pdf import pdf fonts from pdf make slash build slash vfs fonts and next thing we're going to do is we're going to initialize it so we'll do pdf make dot vfs is equal to pdf fonts dot pdf make dot vfs and so now we have all the fonts available to us and finally we'll just go ahead and import uh, use effect in use state so we'll do import use effect use state from react all right, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the content for our PDF. And the content that I'm going to be using is coming straight out of the documentation, which is a little bit of um, changes on my end. So it's a simple, oops, let's change this to a const. So it's a const doc definition. Uh, this variable, all it has is a um, content which contains individual text. So this is for the header and there's some styling after that for paragraph and another text with a little bit of extra styling and finally multiple styles applied right here and this is the styles object associated to that pretty simple it's coming straight out of the documentation and um, after that what we need to do is we need to create a variable a use state variable that can contain our url so we'll do const url and we'll do set url is equal to use state and we'll set it to be null initially. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a function that's going to be responsible for creating and generating the PDF. And then off of that, we will get the URL. So this is what that's going to look like. Underneath my use state variable, I'll create a new variable called const create PDF. And inside of here, we'll create a new, another variable called const PDF generator is equal to PDF make dot create PDF. And inside of here, we're going to give it our uh, doc definition. So um, let's go ahead and paste it into here like the show. And then finally, after that, uh, this creates our PDF. So if I were to do, if I were to do console.log PDF generator, and let's go ahead and get rid of all of this content right here. Oops. Let's do a simple button. And inside of here, we'll do on click. We'll run create PDF, generate PDF, and if we open up our console right here at the top, we should see an object that contains a lot of information, and inside of there is what we want. Um, we want to convert this and get the actual PDF off of it. The way to get that is to make a blob. And that's going to look like this. So PDF generator dot get blob. So you have a couple. Oops, you have a couple of options. So when I do dot, you have download, get basic z4, get blob. Um, you can use get blob to actually generate and display it in your actual app if you want. You can do get stream, get data URL, get basic z4, whichever one you like. Um, you can even download if you want. Uh, but we're going to do get blob inside of here. We will give it a parameter of blob. And we'll do const URL is equal to URL dot create oops create object URL 
give it the blob and so now this URL will contain our our actual PDF so all I have to do is set URL to be URL and finally down here what we'll do is we'll do a simple ternary operator um, that's just going to check if URL is not null and if it isn't then all we'll do is just make a div and inside of this div we'll generate oops we'll uh, render our URL so if I refresh the page we have nothing click it once we have our blob go into it and we have our PDF right there with our randomly generated number perfect and uh, before I do finish the tutorial let me just quickly show you guys how to download the PDF if you want automatically so all you have to do is PDF generator dot download run the function and uh, if you go back into the generate PDF it'll download it right down here open it up and there you go so if you did enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe and in the next one if you guys want we can uh, I'll teach you guys how to work with more dynamic content such as tables and rendering images and whatnot in PDF make um, but be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one peace